Good Friday to our Highland Park Church family. We're coming to you from our kitchen because we can't get together for communion, but I thought this would be a good time for us to gather as the body of Christ and do as the Lord commanded, that we would remember his death till, until he comes. Mm -hmm. We remember communion as a holy act. We sit at the table with Jesus as he and his 12 disciples did on that Last Supper. And, and really, we sit with all the saints, all of those throughout human history who have ever sat at the table and believe in the name of Jesus Christ. So we celebrate this act, understanding it's a holy act. So as you come to the table to receive communion today, remember, this is a time for reflection, for confession, and for repentance. Because this is a communion for the saints. If you are in Christ and a follower of Jesus Christ, we invite you to take this with us. If you would like to make the decision to follow Jesus Christ right now and today, this could be your act of surrender to His will in your life. And on the night before He was crucified, Jesus gave these final last words, and I want Mindy to read those words to us as a rem reminder of what we're doing here today. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take it, for this is my body. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to the Lord for it. He gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. I tell you the truth, I will not drink wine again until the day I drink it in the new kingdom of God. And as we take the Lord's Supper today, I want you to take the bread. Like they would have on Passover, Jesus took the bread and he broke it, right? I'll give you a piece. Thank you. I'll take a piece. And will you take the bread and eat the bread and may it preserve you blameless from everlasting to everlasting. Thanks be to God. The cup is a reminder of the blood of Jesus Christ, which was given for your forgiveness and your wholeness. Would you take this in remembrance of the incredible sacrifice on Good Friday of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Our Father, we thank you for your grace. Savior Jesus, we thank you for your love. And Holy Spirit of God, we ask that you would consecrate these whole moment in time where later in life we can look back on the Good Friday when we were in quarantine, when we received your grace when we needed it most. Father, I pray that your blood would bring healing to our land. Mm -hmm. That people all across this nation and across this world would sense their need for you right now. Mm -hmm. So that your death, your precious death for our sins could be felt globally. And that they could have freedom mm -hmm. and new life just as we do as well. So that at this time next year, I pray, Father, there will be more people around the world who will be celebrating their first Holy Communion on Good Friday because of what is happening here today. I thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice and for giving us a chance at new life. Now bless us, Lord, as we go about our day and look forward to a great Sunday where we celebrate your victory over death, mm -hmm. over hell, yes. and the grave. In yes. Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people said, wherever you are, Amen. 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 God bless you. We'll see you on Easter Sunday.